deep fried and smothered in country gravy. Today I'm going to show you my take on the perfect breakfast burrito. So let's grab our favorite plates and let's get started. Here are all my ingredients to make my chimichanga breakfast burrito. We're starting off with a half pound of breakfast sausage. I'm going to cook that until it's brown and then we're going to add in some diced onion. This is half of a white onion. We're just gonna cook it down with the meat for two to three minutes until it's blended well and changed color. Earlier I had boiled four potatoes until they were soft, so we're gonna take this sausage mixture and we're gonna dump it in the potatoes. To our sausage and potato mix, we're gonna add parsley, salt, pepper, onion powder, and paprika. Give that a mix and put it to the side. Meanwhile, we'll put a pat of butter in a pan over medium heat and we'll start cracking some egg. I wanna make sure it's equal ratios, so because I did four potatoes, I'm gonna do four eggs. I'm just using a fork to scramble these. And then I'll add it to the pan. As my eggs are cooking, I like to give them a little whisk. I always find that this makes them fluffier. Just my preference. Midway through, I'll grab my spatula and I'll just move the eggs around a little bit, tilt my pan so the egg that's uncooked runs around and it gets cooked evenly. The eggs cooked for about two to three minutes and now that they're done, it's time to assemble the burrito. I'm starting with the sausage potato mix. Then I'll be adding the egg. It already looks amazing, so let's add some cheese and make it even better. Now it's time to roll it all up into a burrito form and hit the deep fryer. Be aware when you first put the burrito into the deep fryer, it's gonna fluff up and it might lose its form, so you're gonna wanna hold it down with a spoon. The burrito's been cooked for about five minutes and it's golden brown and ready to rest. I'm starting our country gravy with one third cup of flour and the extra sausage. The grease from the sausage mixed with the flour is going to create a thickener for our gravy. This is called a roux. Once the flour is completely combined, you're going to add one cup of milk. You're going to want to continuously stir this with a fork until it gets the consistency you're happy with. When making country gravy, you can always add milk to make it thinner, but do not add flour to make it thicker. It'll just get lumpy and you'll never get the clumps out. If you need to make it thicker, you just keep cooking it. Alright, this gravy is nice and thick, it's a good consistency, so it's time to pour it over our breakfast chimichanga. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, please subscribe to it, and hit the bell for notifications.